In the previous video, we went over the basic data types. And in this video, we need to go over how to use type conversion, because you might have noted that when we went ahead and typed in print hello plus one, it's going to give us this error that says we can only concatenate string to strings, not with integers, because it needs to be the same data type when we combine them. And we found out that one way to get around this was of course to create a formatted string and just adding it inside here. So we can say hello one, but there is another way to make sure that we can print it without having any issues. And that is type conversion. So for this example, we're going to pretend we have a wallet, which has 30.5 currency that can be euros or dollars or whatever you want. And in our bank, we have 200. Now, the first thing I want to cover is implicit conversion. And this happens when two data types are similar, such as float and integer. When we combine these, it's going to automatically turn it into a float, which means we're going to type in total equals wallet plus bank and we will print the total. Down here, you're going to notice we're going to get 230.5 and it automatically converted it to a float. Now, if you want to make sure that this remains an integer, you would have to surround all of this by parentheses and in front of it, you would type in int. Now, once we do that, you're going to notice we're not going to get the 0.5 because first it did the calculation and then it converted it to an integer, which has no decimal numbers, and then we printed the total. So this right here is just an example of implicit conversion. But let's get rid of this print statement and move on to how we can convert other data types. So now for our string example, we're going to go ahead and type in total is going to equal the string value of total, which means we're going to get this floating number and turn it into a string. And the benefit of doing that is that we can now go ahead and type in you have plus total plus euros. And when we run the program, it's going to say you have 230.5 euros and there are no errors because we turned it into a string before using it in this concatenation of strings. But now let's go ahead and pretend we want to perform another calculation. So here we're going to go ahead and type in print total minus 20 because we want to deduct 20 from the total. We're going to get an error because right now we have an integer and we turned our total to a string, which was originally a float. So the way to get around this, of course, is to add parentheses and type in float in front of the total. Now, when we go ahead and run the program, we're going to get the new total, which is 210.5, because we converted the string to a floating number and then deducted 20 from it. Up next, let's pretend we have a random number, which is just 10. But as you may have noticed immediately, I added some quotation marks, which turned this to a string. Now the answer is going to equal 10 plus the integer value of the random number. Then we can go ahead and print the answer and click on save. You're going to notice we added 10 to 10. So of course the answer is going to be 20. But one thing that's very important to note is that if we type in ABC and we try to convert that, the program is going to say, what are you doing? You're supposed to add a integer there and you just had some text. So it's not going to understand what to do and it's going to throw an error. So make sure you have an integer inside here before converting it. Now, the final thing I want to cover because I thought I covered it, but I realized that I was supposed to cover it in this lesson, and that is the formatted string. And this is a very easy way to get around having to convert all these data types when printing statements. So for example, let's go ahead and type in monies and we're gonna pretend we have 2000 this time. Now, instead of converting it to a string when printing it, we can go ahead and create a formatted string. And to do that, you add an F to some quotation marks. And here you can type in the text you want to have. So you have followed by some curly brackets. And inside the curly brackets, you can add any code you want. It just tells the program that there's some code inside here. So we can even add our variable. And this is not going to be treated as text. It's going to be treated as a snippet of code. So when we run the program, it's going to say you have 2000. And actually I will add the Euro symbol here. You have 2000 euros. And the cool thing about this is that you can even add some numbers in here if you want. So you can do the calculation inside the print statement. And that's just something very useful to know about print statements because this will save you a lot more time than manually converting everything you have. So instead of going ahead and type in monies equals the string of monies, 
you can just go ahead and insert it immediately. But that just about covers type conversion. In the next video, we're going to go over how we can use operators.